lovies! Welcome back to Creations by Jax. I'm Jax and um, whoa, it has been a really, really busy month. Since the launch on May the 4th, whoa, so much has been going on. I hit 100 subscribers. That is just so humbling and wow. Thank you everybody for the support. That I just am totally humbled by that. So just amazing. Um, had no expectations um, and it just blew up and I owe that all to my YouTube family and people, you know, um, helping me, putting shout, shout outs and it's just been really, really um, a blessing to me to receive so much love and support um, with my channel launch. So let's get after this. So I have been so busy with all of my charity work. Um, it's just, you know, working hard, hard, hard to get these um, projects out. And yeah, so a few things. A girl had to do the things, so I couldn't take it anymore. So I ordered this little, this little thing. It's called Poly Gel, and this is by Rossi. And was a Facebook ad that popped up and you see all these little, you know, they put the gel in the inside of the little form, you put it on your nail and you cure it and then you pop the little thing off. It's called a dual form, duo form, du dual form. Um, it's all right. I put some glitter. They're all right. Um, I said I was going to do a, a tutorial and review. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do it because it, this product is very hard to work with. Um, you definitely have to be a seasoned nail technician or someone that is really seasoned with doing their own nails. It was not easy. Um, I'm faster with acrylic powder and a brush. Um, it was really difficult to keep um, underneath from not getting big lumps of product underneath and then I had to sit there with my electric drill and clean it out. But um, I think it's all right. They'll do. So I have a little bit of glitter in there. I did some of this holographic glitter. It's kind of not really showing, but it's holographic. Just to give it a little, you know, girl needs some decorations. So, so I have my decorations back. I feel much better now. Talk all day long with the hands. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, and then, um, I'm wearing one of my sweaters. It was the one of the very first sweaters I made. Um, and this is made out of Big Twist Rainbow Classic. The color is violet. I guess you can't find them anymore. I guess Big Twist um, discontinued their um, Rainbow Classic. Was not happy. This yarn is so delicious and so soft and so pretty. I have a bag in a minute I'll show you that I did out of um, one of the light little lilac colors that they have. But yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, one of my first sweaters, just a simple little v-neck. I want to say that it was, it was just a little v-neck tutorial that I found. Um, if I can find it again, God, it was because it was a month of Sundays ago, um, I will put her little link in the, in the, I want to say it was something love Santos or something is I think is what her name was um, but if I if I can find it again I'll put it in the uh, link down below because it was a really easy pattern and I like v-necks I don't like the straight necks and in it v-necked pretty good excuse my I got a little gluten <laughs> exposure and I get that little rash on my chest so that if anybody wants that's what that is um, all right, so I talked about the nails, the sweater. Um, so currently I'm still working really, really hard on um, th those three charities that I had mentioned earlier, Wings with Rose Likes Crochet, um, Rose, gosh, again, I can't say enough how flippin' amazing you are. Um, we really twinsy up all the time. <laughs> we like a lot of the same things. Hi, purple! <laughs> my favorite color my birthstone everything February what what um, but uh, so what I'm doing right now is working on some 12 inch 
squares and um, I have them in this color and then a dark blue and then I have a variegated of that lots of hugs I don't know it's in my other um, bag downstairs uh, the yarn that I just got from Mary Maxim so awesome so I have those I'm working on those and that pattern is by as uh, Wilma Westenberg will made and um, it's called the tulips from Holland and it's her traveling Afghan square and I guess there's a thing they're traveling around uh, people around the world are creating knitting crocheting these squares and they're making an Afghan out of it so hers is called the tulips from Holland and I'm gonna tell you tulip the word tulip has been coming up a lot this month. My husband brought me tulips, which he doesn't bring flowers because he always says cut flowers, they die in a week. So he likes to bring me actual potted plants. So you can see a couple of them. This is one of the plant babies right here. That's my daughter's though, but um, gotta have greeny, greenies in the, in the environment. So, um, but tulips again. Um, so let's see that we did the 12 inch and then I'm also, I did some bags um, because wings, oh, of course I drop it. Wings, um, their request, their requ request, <laughs> easy for me to say today, uh, the requests uh, for their wish list this month of May are bags. So the, you know, I was going to go and pull out a bunch of my bags and that I'd already made. And I was like, no, let me just pop out a couple. So I did this one, just one little thing, and it's got a little button. Um, but this, seeing it, this variegated, it's so hard to see. There's little puff stitches. And this was, um, this was uh, from Bag of Day. Her, I think it's, let me, I have my little notes over here, $3.97, it's called the Blue Ocean Bag, and hers, it was, it was the puff stitches all the way down, and I actually broke it up with some stripes of just double crochet, so, um, and also made it much smaller, so, and then popped the little button, because, you know, you gotta be able to close it, so there's one, then, um, Siren, love her, oh my gosh, I, I believe she's from Turkey, um, and I love her designs, and, she tries so hard with her English and I'm so grateful for um, her doing her tutorials in English because she, yes, love her. I've um, been following her for a very long time. But I took her, again, here we go. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, hers is called, um, where did I, it's a tulip one too. I thought I wrote that down so I could make sure to, to tell you guys. But um, yeah, hers is a tulip bag as well. And it's that, you know, it's a granny square on the bottom, and then you just go up. But hers were double crochets, and I turned them into the V-stitch, because I get bored. <laughs> I hate just plain double crochets. So, and then her little handles are so cute, and they're really sturdy. So, it's that Russian, I believe it's called the Russian I-cord, um, but purple. Yeah, so this is just some yarn that both of these are yarns that came in a mystery box from Yarn Inspirations. So no clue what they are. <laughs> this has got little flecks of like pink and stuff in it. It's I, I have no idea what it is. I can tell it's acrylic. And then this purple one, I, you can totally tell it's acrylic, but I have no idea what the yarn is. So Yarn Inspirations mystery bags. And then the final bag, I could only do three because all of these blankets I'm doing this, this month. Um, and this one, I think I'm going to put another a little um, button on this one too. But this one is just kind of a freestyle one that I did of my own. And um, still trying to, you know, work through some of my designs and um, not really writing patterns yet. Not ready for that. But, you know, just might do well. Crystal Bagaday does, and she just does tutorials for you to follow. So this one, again, I used Siren's Russian I-Cord. So cute. But this one's Posts and Shells. So, um, and this yarn, look familiar? This is the big twist as well. 
and it is so soft. I'm sorry I haven't like stretched this out. I just finished it. So um, kind of hard to see, but little shells and posts. And then I like the side wall to be solid. And then I put the little, the little accent through here. And I think I'm gonna pop a little button. I, I, I like buttons, you know, I like to be able to seal my bags. So that's the third bag for Rose. Um, and then, like I said, working on the blanket, this is going to have enough squares to be a 48 by 60. Yeah. Did I do? No, I, do, I went for the sixth row, so it's going to be a four by six. So it'll be 48 by 72. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Um, still chugging along on my rectangular shell uh, blanket for the um, Snowball Express Gary Sinise. That one, um, my yarn finally came. Um, is it behind me? I thought it was behind me. It's the lipstick on my collar, Burnout Pop. Um, I must have put it in my project bag. Um, still chugging and plugging on that. Almost finished. I would say only have maybe one or two cakes left to get to the diameter that they want. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it's been whip crazy. Uh, hat not hate. I am up to... I think I did, I'm going to do 30 and I'm up to like 28. So I have two more hats to make. I thought I had them, but one of them I wasn't real happy with. So I pulled it out. So I'm going to redo it real fast with just something simple. I finally got some more um, blue yarn. Um, my uh, Hirschners came and so I finally got some more blue. I think I might do this little chunky cake blue. This one is so pretty. I flip and love this one. And it, it is a bulky so the chunky Karen chunky cake, it's so soft. Um, I made my best girlfriend a, a blankie for her bed because she gets cold, skinny mini, um, in Colorado, and um, used that. Gorgeous. And then I also got it in the red. I had to, but I was really disappointed because on the picture I didn't see this pink. I was gonna make her son a blanket out of that, and it has too much pink in it for a little boy. So. Um, let's see, Hobium finally came, and I got a couple skeins of this yummy goodness. Um, these are called the Summer Cloud. It is 66% cotton and 34% acrylic, and it's all right. It's really soft, R reminds me of kind of a little latte cake, but looks kind of stonewashed. It's really pretty. I got a little bit of both. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just liked it. It was on sale for like almost nothing. Um, I think it ended up being close to like 90 cents a skein. Um, but let's see. There is, yeah, see there's only 82 yards in each. So I was like, all right, let's do something with it. So I got that. And then I got some of their cotton. I wanted to see how that the Lena cotton was. Um, and I believe it is 100%. Oh, okay, no, it's 68% cotton and 32% linen. And I was so excited because it was coral. I was like, all day long, I bought like six of them. This is not coral. It is orange. It is like pumpkin orange. And I was like, okay. My idea of coral is a little more to the browner tone, but this is, it is very orange, um, even on the camera. I wish the camera would show you how orange that is. I wish it was this cor more coral, but it is definitely very orange, but very soft, very soft. So I think I might, um, I have a, a pattern that I got from our Lala, Mad Mimi Crochet um, and Farming, um, and it's for a back scrubber. So I have some really pretty um, of the scrubby coming, and I might just use this um, to, to add to it because it's too layered. So it's coming, Lala, it's coming, and I promise I'll post pictures. <laughs> but, and then I did, I wanted to try the, the um, I can never, Tavoli, the Tavoli. Um, in the worsted weight because I got the Tivoli but it was more like DK 
And so I got these big bags. Look at that red, yo. What up? Hi. <laughs> it's really pretty. Um, so this looks, I mean, it looks like it's good. It's 100% acrylic. It's very soft. Um, and I got it in two colors. Now this color, get the heck out of here. Get off the porch and shut the front door. It is so pretty. But another one, I got this one. And this is the um, We Love Yarn. Um, and I thought it would pair, you know, like it would be very similar to the Tivoli, but it's not. It is much, in fact, I made some of the, the hats with it. It is so pretty. Um, and it is, it's, it's, it's a light, it, it's a light, four. if that's a four, I don't know. Does it want to say it's a four? Does it call for an H hook? Yeah, it calls for an H hook. I don't know. It's color number 12. And I believe it is 100% acrylic, but it is so flipping soft. I was trying to see if I had my hat. Some of the hat not hates that we just did with Bag a Day. We did that seven day marathon. And of course, you know, I've tried and true, had to do all seven of them. But here is that. That's her herringbone. Little top knot. But it is very um, drapey and very soft. So um, I think it would make a beautiful sweater. So I have enough. I don't think I have enough for a sweater, but maybe a little vest or a capelet. Um, you know, and I'll uh, do the underarms so it, it's more like a, uh, instead of a poncho, more of a um, uh, ponchette. I call them ponchettes when they're kind of more like a sweater. So... Um, that's about it. Yeah, that bag a day marathon was really fun. You knocked it out of the park, Crystal. All of them, even, the, even, the, even the single crochet doodaddy. I was like, girl, you got me doing single crochets. <laughs> but I did it and I really like how this turned out. It even made the little swooshy on the top. I was like, all right. It, it, the, all them single crochets, and then of course I put a little crab stitch around the edge, um, was really nice, but, um, and these other ones I did, I believe this was, I don't think this was one of the ones from, it's hard to see, this is that mandala, mandala ombre, um, it's just really hard to see the details on camera, but, um, out of the 30 hats, like 20 of them are crystals. So bag a day, whoop, whoop. This was like my favorite one to make. So pretty, so pretty. This is the Mandala Sparkle. And of course I can't get, somebody said that it was picking it up, but it's got the part the silver sparkles in it. And I was like, can you see the sparkles? <gasps> can't see the sparkles, but this one was really fun to make. And it's, it's really cute. That's a nice little puff, puff stitch that she did. Um, let me get my list here. Uh, oh yeah. And I did a yarn inspirations after I was had watched yarn it up and, um, we were talking about yarn inspirations and I popped over and, um, that's where I got the, the chunkies and I got these little, um, the Karen cakes. And of course I had to get some more latte cakes. <gasps> I can't wait to play with that. Of course, I always have my browns, but I went, I was like, I need some more color. We have some more color. Um, I think that's all really for the yarn hauls. There hasn't been much. I do have another Mary to the Maximum coming. Um, and, um, and I think I was able to get another bag. It said that it was, you know, that the, the free bag was over, but I put in the code and it put it in my cart. And I got a little notions bag that matches. I was like, get out. What? Um, let's see. Oh, and my Sashkas. I got my Sashkas. Um, at first I was like, these wouldn't fit a toddler, but they are not kidding. You have to keep rolling them and like stretching your hand. And I, I sit here and I go like this and just stretch it and then it, they fit. So I have those ones, and then I have two more. 
on my ankle. <laughs> I, the, the dark black and kind of a bronzy one that are around my ankle with my ocean, uh, four ocean bracelets. And thank you, Granny D. Um, if you go to any of Granny D's videos, she always has a little Sashka link. Show our girl some love. Uh, she gets a little, a little happy mail when we order from those and from Darn Good Yarn. And we got to support our girl. She needs some big time love. Um, you know, we got to support our people that, that give so much to us too. I mean, just, she brings me so much joy. Love her. I wish one day that I could go and meet her, give her a big hug. But, um, I think that's going to be it. I went really long on this one. Sorry guys. It's like 20 minutes, but it's just, I'm so... I was so excited when I got that email that said, you've hit 100 subscribers. I was like, get out of here. No way. Are you serious? And now I think it's like 115. I'm, and it just never stops. So I'm just like, right on. Right on. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's just, I'm just humbled by it. So Manny is wearing... We'll conclude with Manny. Um, this was, I was going through this stitch of the the front post, back post, double crochets that go, that slightly, oh, the only thing I can do is show you another one that I did, that does that. This where it looks like the embossed. And so I was playing with her and I was like, ooh, let's make a little keyhole. Um, so this is my, of course, my puzzle yarn. Love you, love your show, frequent shopper. Um, and it's really long because I wanted that extra little scarfy here, but this stitch is like, what? It's so fun. So I did this one. This is that, I think it's like the Simply, what is it? It's right behind me. Oh, this is the, the Tweed Stripes, Mandala Tweed Stripes. And I made a little cowl. And again, I was just playing with that stitch. So pretty. And then I had some more tweed that I was playing with that stitch as well, but did back post um, double crochets instead of, I mean back loop double crochets instead of the back post. And it, it made that little rib. And I was like, all right, all right, Cal, I got you. Um, oh, one more whip I want to share. Um, I got a paid pattern, and it is, what is her name? <clears throat> it is, um, I'm sorry, here it is, the sum of its parts pullover, and it is by I Need It Crochet. And I got my shawl in a ball. Um, hi, friend. What? And then it go it it looks like a, a poncho, like a um, a shawl, and then you know the back, and it's V-neck. Um, yeah, winner winner chicken dinner, but that shawl in a ball. Are you kidding me right now? So and now it's gonna we're gonna square it off. You square it off and notch the sides and put a little ribbing. It was a paid pattern, but so worth it. It is so cute. It's little puff stitches and cross stitches and double crochets. And it works up so easy. I just sit there and watch my shows. I actually listen to like three episodes of Anne of Green Gables with Granny D. Um, why I was just sitting, you know, no braining this pattern. It's so easy to follow. So I will definitely show pictures of that when I'm done. Um, and I think that's it, babes. Lovey loves. Until next time, you know, stay, stay safe, everybody. Um, we're, hopefully this is almost over and we can go outside. I want to go outside. Um, but, you know, do something today that makes you smile. Do something today that makes someone else smile. Tell someone that you love, that you love them. And uh, give me some Fonzies. Hey. And anybody that doesn't know who Fonzie is, go look up Happy Days, you babies, if you don't know who Fonzie is. But I'm going to call them Fonzies. And then hit the Just Push Play. <laughs> and then ring my bell, baby. Ring my bell if you want to know when I come on again. Anyway, lovey loves.
Bye.